Attention. My videos are not meant to humiliate nor send attacks at the people included in my videos. Please do not go over to the channels or people's social medias featured in these videos and send hate. These videos are purely satire and should not be taken seriously. If you're someone who's featured in the video and you would not like this to be out there, please contact me via email, Twitter, or Discord, which are all linked down below in the description, and I will take it down for you. Thank you. Hey yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at this chick who is completely addicted to French fries. She won't not eat anything else except for french fries also real quick before we get into the video i just did want to remind you that i do have a twitter instagram and discord server all linked down below in the description so be sure to go check those out and yeah guys without further ado let's get greasy 29 year old amber scott only eats french fries wow what a sad life like imagine only eating french fries and nothing else at all it would get so boring after i, I don't know one day like, like i don't understand all this is even a possible problem though like how does someone get to the point where all they eat is french fries like why why won't they just go get some pizza or something like pizza is so good why are you stuck in this world where you could only eat french fries devouring over 56 kilos of deep fried french fries each and every month okay let's see how many pounds 46 kilos is oh my god 101 pounds this lady eats 101 pounds of fries a month that is insane can you guys just try to imagine 100 pounds of fries that, that would be so much because like, like fries aren't that heavy they're just little slices of potatoes how do you consume a hundred pounds of french fries in a month that's insane yearly that's the equivalent of six thousand potatoes 115 potatoes every single week 115 potatoes a week what the heck man that is so excessive really though like why does she only eat potatoes it, it I, I don't understand why she only eats french fries it really isn't making sense to me before amber tackles a completely new taste dr dow starts with a familiar food that only looks a little different i am very nervous and even though french fries are a safe food Changing their color makes me feel uneasy. I feel like this is not a baby step and this is not where I would have chosen to start. Man, come on now. How hard of a task is it to eat a colored French fry? Like, like I kind of would understand if you were like, uh, I don't know, six? Cause like, I remember back in the day, back in first grade, we had a uh, green eggs and ham day at my school. And man, was I terrified of those green eggs. Like I was not going anywhere near those. Then I tried it and you know what? It tasted like eggs, so I got over it. But as an adult now, food coloring really isn't scary to me anymore. Like, like that, that trick ain't gonna work on me. I don't know how they're still fooling you with that trick. Like, really though, get over yourself. Eat a blue french fry. It's gonna taste like a french fry. I just wanted to be done with the rainbow fries. How are you feeling right now? I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. This chick is really stuck in her kid ages of food though. L like, like really get over it. It's all the same food. There's no way that food coloring is gonna make it taste different. It's the same exact food that you've been eating before. Really get over it. You're a grown adult, a grown adult. Eat the French fry. Here. Is she actually bawling her eyes out over eating a french fry? This is actually insane. Like, wow. I don't even know kids who would bawl their eyes out over eating a colored french fry. Like, this is way over a top. Be a freaking adult. Come on. JJ orders a variety of different vegetables, ranging from the familiar like potato to the unfamiliar, such as carrots, asparagus, and mushroom. It smells like a potato in canola oil. Now, whether it smells like a french fry. Logically, gonna kill you? No, but I mean, eating dirt won't kill me. It doesn't mean it's a good idea. Holy crap. She really is like a six year old who's scared of trying new food. Like we've all been in this chick situation as a kid, but like, I'm pretty sure we're all over that now. Why is she stuck in this six year old state where she's scared to try new food? Like man up, try the food. If you don't like it, 
don't eat it again. It's a very simple process. She uses so much all or nothing thinking. She uses a lot of catastrophic thinking. I want Amber to understand that there is some gray area here. Not everything has to be pleasant to her, but it doesn't have to be all bad. But you could eat this and keep it in your mouth, right? Probably. Well, in that case, bon appetit. Honestly, though, I feel bad for these two therapists. They're just over here trying to help her out, and she's acting like such a toddler. She really does need to grow up. Like, there's no reason she should have two people training her on how to eat and try new foods. It is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Dr. Dow and JJ have left Amber for a few days to carry on with her treatment alone. She has a kid? I, I feel bad for her, man. She probably feeds her kids nothing but fries. Like, that has to suck. Mom, what's for dinner tonight? Well, for an appetizer, I made you some french fries. And then for our entree, uh, we have some french fries. And you're going to get a little bit of a side of uh, french fries. For dessert, we also get to have some delicious french fries. But, but mom, this is the seventh day in a row we've had french fries. Can we try something different? I mean, as a kid at first, I would think like, dang, I really out here living like a king. Like, I get to eat french fries every single day. This is absolutely incredible. But, like after a day or two of continuously eating nothing else but french fries, I'd be like, for real, mom, french fries again. Can we have something different? Like, I, I don't know. I just feel for this kid. That's probably all she eats. On the first day. Amber is determined to move forward for herself and her daughter. I don't like the way this smells. It's slimy. It's not as close to a french fry as I expected it to be. But I think- Wait a second. Does this chick just have a bowl of shredded cheese with a fork in it sitting on her table at all times? What is the point of that bowl of cheese? I thought that she only ate french fries. Like, why did she have a bowl of shredded cheese on her table? Please, someone tell me what she's using that for. Because obviously she isn't using it to eat. She's probably too scared to try shredded cheese. By day four, Amber is unable to stomach anything new and is back to eating french fries three meals a day. Can we just talk about how all she eats is french fries and she stays skinny as heck, man? Like, what is up with that? If I ate one french fry, I would gain 10 pounds. I don't know how that works, but it does, and it is so true. I eat one french fry, I gain 10 pounds. It just sucks, man. Like, come on, that's not fair. How can someone eat nothing but french fries and be that skinny? McCartney spotted the cucumbers. Okay, now what's our deal with these foods? What if we don't like it? Spit it out. I don't know that I'm going to be able to tolerate the cucumber. Wow, she ate a cucumber. That's incredible. Good job. What a big accomplishment. If anything now, she's just going to be a cucumber french fry lady. So you guys, that was Amber, uh, the crazy french fry lady. And uh, she's going to be eating french fries for the rest of her life. Nothing else. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I apologize for it not going up at my usual time, but I slept in today. I needed sleep. I really did. I hope you guys forgive me, but I'm not going to stop the daily uploads and nothing will stop my daily uploads. I promise you guys that. I'm going to try to go as long as I can because I love you guys. I really do appreciate the support lately. It has been amazing. We, we just hit 3k. We're already at 3,200. It's crazy, guys. But yeah, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. You guys are the real G's for that. Really, I appreciate you guys a lot for watching till the end. It, like, it helps me out so much, man. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace out.